Well, good evening, everybody. Happy Sunday, and welcome back into Mama Angel's Kitchen. This is the last of the Soul Food Sundays for the month of May that I've been doing. I hope you guys have enjoyed them. It is a little late here today. I let it get away from me. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get this done, but you know what? We're here and we're doing it. All right, guys, what we're going to do tonight is pork chops. I've got some pork chops here I'm going to fry up. I'm going to show you a different way of frying them. We're going to do some panko. These are nice and beautiful thin. These are nice thin chops. Okay, they're not thick at all. They're beautiful and thin. So we're going to um, want to put some panko on them and fry them up that way and get a real nice crispy. Sorry guys, I just want to wash my fingers off after touching the meat. The other thing we're going to be doing is I've got a beautiful Napa cabbage, which is traditionally done in your Asian dishes, like stir fries and uh, things of that nature. But we're gonna make it so food style. And then I've got a bowl of potatoes here that I've got sliced out, let's see, a nice little thin disc like this, okay? You can use a mandolin, I used my hand, I just sliced it out with a knife, but it's probably easier done with a mandolin. And with that, we're gonna make some cheesy scallop potatoes, okay? I don't have everything in front of me here that we're gonna need. It's all back on counters and stuff. Um, just because to try and save a little bit of time, because it's a lot also. I'm gonna kind of bring it in as we work and do this, okay? Uh, the seasonings we're gonna need for the pork chops. I've got my usual suspects, salt, pepper, Maggie polio, Saison, garlic and onion powder, and then a um, this is a garlic and herb all purpose seasoning. Okay, all of it will be down in the description below. Let's go ahead and get this mixed up. I'm gonna get these pork chops seasoned up on both sides, and then I'm gonna set them aside, and then we'll start first on these potatoes because they are going to take the longest, okay? Let's go ahead and get that seasoning right on there. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and flip these over, season up the other side, and I'll be back and we'll start on these potatoes. All right, guys, trying to get myself positioned here where you can see me. All right, let's start with these potatoes. I've got my little baking dish here, and I'm not sure what the size this is, to be honest with you. It's what I always make my casseroles in, my mac and cheese, all of that. So what I've done is I have lined it with butter, okay? And all I'm gonna do, guys, I'm not even doing this in any fancy order. All I'm doing is laying a single layer of the potatoes down in here. I, drain the potatoes i didn't even dry them i'm not going to worry about that because we're really not trying to get them crispy okay and i will see about bringing you over and giving you a look at what i'm doing here and then i'm going to go in on top of that with some onion i've just got some onion that i uh, just cut up like this here. Just took a whole onion and sliced it, okay? And just kind of lay that in there like that. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of seasoning, a little garlic, a little salt, and some pepper, okay? And then, this is a beautiful cheese sauce, guys, that I've made. And this cheese sauce, let me see here, is the exact same cheese sauce that I make for my, okay, I'm just gonna lay that on there, that I make for my, um, my macaroni and cheese. So go back and take a look at 
that video and you can see exactly how I make this cheese sauce okay all right all right and then I have some shredded cheese any type of shredded cheese you want I just happen to have had some Kobe Jack and mozzarella and some pepper jack those are the three cheeses that I have here and it's about a pound and a half okay I don't know that I'll use all of it that's one layer I'm just gonna go back and do layer another layer and I will do this until I get up until you know the casserole is full okay all right guys I'll be back all right guys here we are the top layer and I'm just gonna top it with some of our shredded cheese all over here and then it's I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil loosely because um, I don't want to take all my cheese off then it's gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes I'll let you know exactly how long that took. All right, I'll be back and we will get started on our cabbage. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our cabbage. I've got a little bit of coconut oil here, about a, eh, maybe a tablespoon. Any, 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 any oil will do. Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil vegetable oil any kind of oil would do you just need a little bit of oil here you can even use butter okay and I want to drop in I've got some smoked sausages and I've cut them really thin like this here this is a turkey smoked sausage the oil is not quite as hot as I wanted but that's okay it doesn't have to be okay. and that's just going to give our our cabbage you know a little bit of smoke flavor I didn't want it to be about the meat in this because the cabbage is just a side dish okay get those sauteing up all right let's go in with our onions and bell pepper I've got about a cup cup and a half of onions and bell pepper. It's green bell pepper that I chose to use. Well, I tell you what, it's green bell pepper that I have available in my home tonight. <laughs> All right. Let those saute up till the onions start to get translucent. All right, these are cooking beautifully. Go ahead and get some seasoning on them. Let's see. A little salt. A little pepper. Alright. Then we're going to go ahead and drop our garlic in there. That was two medium sized garlic cloves. Boy, guys, I tell you, I wish you could smell this. Absolutely divine. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and get our cabbage in there. cabbage is definitely a little more tender and softer than you know your green or your purple it's still so delicious all right I'm gonna dump that last little bit of water in there 
just to help with steam a little bit. Okay, that is our cabbage. And what I'm gonna do now is turn it down just a little. And let's go ahead and get some seasoning right on top of here. Let's start out with a little bit of Maggie Pollo. Let's get some in there. Some garlic powder. Get some all in there. Some onion powder. bit of that this is that garlic and herb all all-purpose seasoning and put some of that in there y'all couldn't tell I love me some garlic all right a little bit of saison all right I'm not even gonna mix that in I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on this and get it covered and let it get start wilting up and then one all right let's get ready to fry up our pork chops and i've got a dredging station here i've got flour these are two beaten eggs and then this is plain panko breadcrumbs and i have seasoned the flour and the panko with the same seasoning that i put on the pork chops okay Let's get one chop here. We're gonna put it into the dry. That's into the flour. Give it a nice coating. Okay. And then it's gonna go into the wet. Flip it over. Lift it up. Sure, it's all coated. Let some of that drip off. Alright. And then into the panko. And flip it over to the panko again. Oh, these are gonna be so crispy. And just delicious. I'm gonna give this other side another little dip there. You want it nice and beautifully coated, just like this. Okay. Take that up. I'm gonna set it right over here in the plate again. And then I'm gonna do this other one. All right, let's go ahead and fry up some pork chops. Let's see, let's get this big one in here. Let's bring this over this way. Lay that big one right there. And I'm hoping I can get them both in here. I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> oh boy. Just barely, but we're gonna make that work. All right. Let these babies go. All right, let's see if these chops are ready to flip. I think this one is. Oh yeah, look at that, oh, that is beautiful. Look at that beautiful color. Let's see. Come on, baby, there we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Let's see, how about you, buddy? Oh yeah. Little part of you there that didn't quite make it to the skillet, but we don't work on that. Oh my goodness, guys. Gorgeous. Gorgeous color. You see that? And pork chops don't take long. Okay? Especially when they're really thin like this. This took about three minutes on that first side. It's going to go for maybe another three minutes on this side. And these chops are done. Here we go, guys. Here we go. That's Soul Food Sunday meal. Here's those potatoes, the scallop potatoes. That beautiful pork chop. My goodness, 
Take a look at that rascal. And here's that Napa cabbage. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, let's get in here for that taste test. Let's give all of this a try right here. I think I'm gonna go right in for the pork chop. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a disclaimer in on the potatoes. I know exactly what I did wrong. The flavor is insane. But if you try this recipe, guys, do exactly what I did, but don't put aluminum foil over it. I could not remember when I made this dish, because I don't do this one often, because um, it's, it's a lot of work involved in it. I'm not gonna lie to you, cutting up the potatoes, making the cheese sauce, it's a little bit of work. I don't say a lot, a little bit. So I don't make it often, and I just could not remember if I covered it or not. Don't cover it. Otherwise, and that way you're, let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead for the potatoes first, okay? You'll see the cheese sauce. It's on there and it's beautiful, but it's thinner than I would like for it to be, okay? Let's go ahead and get a potato here. Oh man, and you would have more of a cheese pork. You want your cheese to coat your potatoes and not just sit on top of it like that. So that's what I would do differently with the potatoes. Don't cover it. Mm. Well, like I said, guys, mm. that flavor is crazy. And come tomorrow, it will set up a whole lot better and it'll be perfect. So it's just tonight that they're hot and I didn't have time to let them sit and really cool. And the top, you don't get that brown bubbly that we all love on the top. Didn't get that. So don't cover and you'll get all of that, okay? But oh my God, the taste. Mm -hmm. The taste is insane. Let's go for that chop. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is actually the fat layer. I want meat. Because <laughs> I did not trim the fat off of this one right here. Um, didn't find it necessary, so I just didn't do it. There we go. Oh, baby. Come on. Get some of that crunchy pork chop right there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's it. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. That pork chop is a star. That is the star right there, guys. The Napa cabbage is beautiful. Mm hmm mm hmm Just beautiful. Mm. Oh, that's good. Guys, I tell you. <laughs> you like this one? Come on, give me a thumbs up. It's good. It is fantastic. Just follow what I said on the potatoes. Everything else, my word. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, come on in and join the party. If you have, my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you, every last one of you guys, for your support and for watching my channel and watching my videos, giving me thumbs up, commenting. I really appreciate your support. I really do. Guys, if I don't get this uploaded tonight, because it is a little late here, and the only reason I won't is if I run into problem um, editing, which, you know, I may. And if I do, I'm not going to stay up till midnight trying to get it done. <laughs> I'll just do it first thing in the morning. All right, guys, I love you. Stay prayed up. I'll see you soon in my next video. Good night.